Ivor has returned! Hail, Wolfkist! <laughs> Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love. Let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Honwald. Be ready. And so violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the Guiding Light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. Cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I'll ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Beerston, I'm glad to see you again. How's your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elorich? He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I am sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I'll make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? So my Yal's gonna... You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Mmm, I feel great. Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. It may be that one day our paths lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deolov, strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolov. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you are welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come. Not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear.
We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone! We have nothing to settle! Die on these walls if you will! It is your choice! No wall is high enough to keep me from you! Then come! Claim your brother if you can! I shall wait with him! If you would find us... You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blacken the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. and so few scores, Basim. What's your secret? You don't get hit. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Look out!
Sigurd was here once, but no longer. Where has Folke taken him? Hmm? Is this Sigurd's blood? Still fresh. Sigurd! Every instant of it. The church! Fulke must have taken him there. Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your cowardice betrays you! Ugh. 
This door will need the strength of two. Hey, come here. Fool K. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Uh, brother, brother. I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. For me, full K, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Here. A pity to kill one with such potential. Where you find words now, Paladin? <laughs> you are more like Sigurd than you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An archon. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He's my brother and my Jarl. And your mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. You to hell. Fulke! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave! Understanding that gift you gave him pain. Good. Yes, to awaken him. Good. Good. All that power, oh. all that potential locked away. Trapped in a prison of bones! Pain was 
was necessary to free him. Fight. As a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. What has she done to you? A4! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I will hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls! That the last of them. We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uba, until we meet again. How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Did you not delay those reinforcements? We might never have succeeded. You are brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. <clears throat> We could not have taken this fort without your archers, Hunwalde. My thanks. Oh, it was nothing, you know. All in a day's work. I may need call on them again one day. Ah, was this not the only... Right. Because I was hoping... Well, never mind. 
Beerston, your ram was invaluable in breaching this fortress. A trifle in comparison to the great service you have rendered me. You will have a good story to tell Alvida upon your return. There is that. But battle is not so thrilling and glamorous as the stories tell. I shall have to spruce it up a little. <laughs> Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I miss you, my brother. Yeah, you miss me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh yeah, we'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulcate, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother. Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all! Today is a day of celebration! Our Jarl is... Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate, but tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Where is Sigurd gone? What do you see? What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past, it is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies. 
visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. Ravensthorpe. An island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. Pray. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. 